All right, so there's been some controversy about Rolling Loud, so we're gonna bring you in with us. We're gonna let you know if Rolling Loud is worth it or not. Try best, try. Feeling, we feeling good. Feeling you know, feeling good. It's a great day to be Pierce. It's a great day to be Davis, and it's a great day to be a viewer. So just come along with us. Mason, we ain't get you in the vlog last time. So yeah, what we the hell is up with that, bro? Who you excited to see? I'm, I'm excited to see Cheeky mostly. Okay. Ski Master Slump God. Okay. And my boy Future right here. Okay. Davis on the move. He's looking like a boss. My mind run deep in my thoughts yeah. when I didn't have it. Sleeping on Talk to him. Where we at? We got angry person. <laughs> Who are we here with? Who are we here with? I'm Lily. Who are you? Nico Sadiq. Do we do we think that Rolling Loud is worth it? No, I think Coachella's better. Loud itself. No, I don't think it's worth it, but it was fun. Walk us through the Ooh. fence. What you got on? Yeah. Just real quick, where are we going? Where are we going? Hey, we got some Rolling Loud. Let's go. It's been a long time coming. They ain't come from my club. They tugging it. Putting it. SoFi Stadium, we finally made it. First person that we're gonna see is NLE Choppa. That stadium, gorgeous. Great time. I enjoyed it. 
my boy Gears. I don't know if I do it again, man. I don't think I could. So either you watch the video through, which I hope you enjoyed it, or you skip to hear my opinion. So here it is. I went to Rolling Loud on a three day general admission pass that my buddy had that was an extra, which is the only reason I went for three days. Otherwise, I was just gonna go on a Sunday. So appreciate to him, shout out Jaden. So the pros to Rolling Loud, great performances. There wasn't a single person I went to where I was like, oh, I'm not enjoying this. Everybody was really good. And I thought the whole event was like curated well in terms of the artists and their performances. It's all on concrete, which seems weird, but I promise you that if it wasn't, it would it would be horrible because all that dust would kick up. Now the cons. There's only one entrance into the entire festival, which mean it took forever for everybody to get in if you came in like during the peak times. So if you weren't to cut the line, it would take a really long time to get in. Now to their defense, there was construction on the SoFi apartment, so they couldn't do entrances from the sides. It's also very unorganized. Coming into the event, you don't know where the stages are and you don't know which stage is which. So when you'd pull out the map, you'd look at it and there wasn't really names or anything like that. Like, I went around and they couldn't even guide me to a stage because even the people that were working there didn't know. And the last one would be that the main stage was really, really far away from all the other two stages. So if you were watching something on one of the smaller stages and you wanted to go to the bigger stage, it would be like a 20 minute walk. Overall, I would go again, but I wouldn't go for like a retail price of a ticket. I'd only go if I could get a ticket like off somebody else who was selling it for cheap because I don't think it's worth the money that they sell it for, at least in my opinion. Although I did have a great time and, and it was a phenomenal event. Everything was really cool in terms of the music. It's not organized very well.